welcome. I'm Elizabeth McNally, and we're excited today to talk to you about the virtual BCVS meeting. And I'm here today with the organizers of the meeting, Sakti Sadiapin, Jill Tardif, and Lauren Wold. And so I'm going to let them tell you about some of the highlights of the meeting. Sakti. Thank you, Dr. McNally. Um, so we are here today to, to present our first 2020 virtual BCVS. Um, this is an exciting program because it's virtual and also, um, you know, you stay wherever you are and then participate in this meeting. Um, so far, we have over 350 e-posters. We have exciting program. We have 14 concurrent sessions. The Asian Cardiovascular Symposium is now part of the BCVS integrated. Um, there are four different sessions. Um, the Korean, Japanese, uh, South Asian, and Chinese um, sessions are now part of the BCVS. Um, we have um, eight e-posters every day afternoon. Um, don't forget that um, there will be um, e-poster sessions. Um, and then for the first time, we have now a collaborator a jointly put together um, a symposium with Heart Failure Association. So that's another uh, uh, important session uh, I would uh, emphasize. Um, the early career competitions will be on Wednesday, so please, please join and support um, the early careers. Uh, on, on a daily basis, uh, in the evening, we also have virtual gatherings, um, networking sessions, um, so uh, please join. Um, also, I would like to um, point out that um, the Women in Science a breakfast session, we still have that one. Um, we also have uh, two workshops. Um, I'm sure Jill and Lauren is going to uh, cover those um, sessions, but um, please make sure you mark your calendar. And again, the advantage of boy, for being on the virtual session is that you don't need to travel sit uh, in front of your computer. You can have two screens. You can see concurrent sessions at the same time. Um, the registration fee is very minimal. And then you have 90 days access for all the videos and uh, e-posters. Um, so thank you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, this Monday at noon. Um, the sessions will be on central time. Um, so please mark that. Um, Thank you. Dr. Tartar, why don't you give us some highlights of some of the things you're looking forward to at the BCVS meeting? Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. McNally. So speaking as a physician scientist and someone who's long taken care of patients with genetic cardiomyopathies, um, probably the obvious choice for me is the uh, cutting edge approaches to targeting complex cardiomyopathies. It'll happen on uh, Monday afternoon on the 27th. And, you know, I just want to point out that for many of us, and hopefully for some of you out there who don't know about um, how we take care of these patients, one of our greatest challenges has always been that all of our, or for example, in the context of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, all of our treatments are palliative, meaning we treat symptoms. Over the last, I'd say, five years, there's been an amazing acceleration in the concurrence between basic science and our care for patients with genetic cardiomyopathies. And this particular session highlights those advances. Um, we have three outstanding talks, um, one from Brett Colson, who's gonna look at drugs and HCM mutations modulating myosin binding protein C. Uh, Charlene Day from UPenn, who's gonna talk about targeting protein degradation as a potential um, uh, modulator of disease. And finally, Andrew Carley from OSU, who's going to give a very, very nice talk about visualizing metabolic flux uh, in diseased hearts uh, using stable uh, isotopes, isotope kinetics. So those are all about as cutting edge as they get. I think they'll be um, exciting to everyone. I'm certainly really looking forward to them, and I'll be moderating this session, so please tune in and make sure you join me for that. Uh, that session will be followed immediately by a moderated poster session looking at sarcomeric function and contractility if you haven't had enough sarcomeres at that moment. I want to follow up with one other um, workshop that I'm very excited about. And this is a, a very um, novel 
workshop for us at the BCBS, and it is entitled Nailing Your Statistics, Rigorous Analysis for Grants and Papers. This is going to be Wednesday. And the moderator is the Editor-in-Chief of Circulation Research, Jane Friedman. And the entire session is actually hosted by Circulation Research. So this is um, focused for, or at least targeted at all of you, how many of you have presented or have submitted a paper and have it come back with the statistics uh, basically torn into small shreds and told to redo them all over again. Well, here's a great way to have this never happen again, as this is gonna be a direct tutorial discussing rigorous analysis and tips. And it will be presented by Jennifer Below from Vanderbilt and the rest of our statistics team at CERC Research, including Heather Hyland and Eric Amazon. So I really wouldn't miss this one either. And um, I think a lot of people will benefit from this particular workshop. Dr. Wald, why don't you tell us what you're looking forward to? Thanks, Dr. McNally. And thank you everyone for joining us for, uh, for this really exciting meeting in a, in a new format. Um, you know, we've all been through a lot this year and so um, it, it's gonna be exciting to see how much we can do virtually. And I think, uh, I think one of the, the most exciting um, sessions that will come out with BCBS is the keynote by Dr. Heinrich Tegmeier, uh, titles All is in Flux, Cardiac Metabolism and Transition. And, and many of you have seen Dr. Tegmeier give lectures before, but um, I think we'll be able to really appreciate his history in the field um, as he presents his many years working um, in this field. So that's on Tuesday the 28th. Uh, another session that, that I'm excited about is the novel um, cardiovascular risk factors of nicotine use, diet, and physical activities as modulators. So I'll be moderating this session, and this will be um, really exciting because of the explosion of new electronic nicotine delivery devices. And so there's gonna be a nice presentation um, by both uh, Dr. Botniger from University of uh, Louisville, as well as Dr. Hamburg from Boston University and uh, Dr. Gardner from LSU, looking at the new, um, the new nicotine delivery devices and potential impacts on cardiovascular health. And then another workshop that is gonna be really exciting is the, uh, the practice of biomedical research honesty, transparency, and early career funding opportunities. And this will be moderated by Dr. Leslie Leinwand and will include the Editor-in-Chief of Circulation Research, Jane Friedman, talking about the journal approach to um, honesty and transparency and how to make sure that what you're sending into the journal is, uh, is totally above board um, when it comes to that. And then We'll also have uh, Dr. Susan Garfinkel, who's from Ohio State. Um, but interestingly, Dr. Garfinkel now uh, works as a research integrity officer, but she also comes to us from the NIH where she worked in the Office of Research Integrity. And she's gonna talk about research misconduct at both the federal government levels as well as the university level. And Dr. Uh, Joseph Hill, for, uh, Editor-in-Chief of Circulation, We'll also talk about uh, the publishing aspects um, related to honesty and transparency. So I'm really excited for you all to join these sessions from the comfort of your office or home and uh, the ability also to watch these on demand after the meeting. So if there's a session you were not able to, to see, we all know when there's current sessions, there's something that we want to see between each and we have to jump between rooms so I think this will be really exciting because we won't miss anything. So thank you so much for joining us. We really look forward to uh, seeing you in the chat window. Uh, we'll be there answering questions and, and helping you navigate through this process. And I'd like to also point out, we'll have a special session, uh, at least one, and correct me if I'm wrong, on COVID in the heart, and that will be a panel discussion and include Dr. Marban and others. So I know that's something many of us have spent some time thinking about. We know the vascular system and the heart are targets of uh, in this infectious process. And so we'll get some opportunity to hear about that as well. Um, and so uh, 
I really hope you'll all uh, join us. We're very excited about this program that we've put together. And I'd like to especially thank Sakti and Jill and Lauren for the very hard work that they've done putting this together. This was no small feat to take what is an amazing meeting and convert it to an amazing virtual format. So I'm confident everybody's going to get a lot out of it. But the most important thing is that we will be able to be safe, enjoying all this great science and together at the same time. And so with that, I really look forward to hoping you will all join us for this great BCBS meeting. Thank you.